Hey everybody, the germ here. You guys can see I'm at a very uh, special location today in Worcester, Massachusetts at Notre Dame Cemetery. Now, of course there's a lot of graves here, but I think I got something that you guys never seen before or never maybe even thought of possibly. What is that of course you guys ask? Well, that is the smiley face. That's right, the smiley face. Now, maybe when you were in school, you got a smiley face on a paper when you were young. Maybe you used an emoji today, you, but you probably never thought of the inventor of the smiley face. Well, that inventor is here in this graveyard, and I'm gonna bring you to a grave of a man by the name of Harvey Bull. Now, back in 1963, Harvey Bull was a local commercial artist right here in Worcester, Massachusetts. He was hired by a company called State Mutual Assurance Company. Morale was kind of down at the assurance company, so a project manager hired Mr. Bull to design something for them to raise morale. The project manager took a piece of paper, drew a circle on it, and drew a smiley face. And she said, that's what I want. That's what I want. I want it on a button. Now, to raise morale, the problem is with the smiley face, if you have no eyes, you could quickly turn that upside down and obviously make it a frown. So Mr. Bull quickly added two eyes, one a little bit larger than the other, and made the smiley face. And here is Mr. Bull's grave, the only grave that will get you to smile probably. He's got a smiley face right on it. Now Mr. Bull was never really paid a lot for his design. He was given a paycheck a year later in 1964 for just $65. The company initially printed up 100 buttons to give out to employees, but quickly, that changed very quickly. They ended up printing over 100,000 buttons later on because there was so much demand from by clients, visitors, and even children, especially children. Now, Mr. Bull and that state mutual ins assurance company never bothered to copyright the design. Big mistake. Seven years later, Mr. Bull did try to copyright that design, but it was already too late. It was everywhere. Now considered public domain. In 1999, however, he came up with another idea. Smiley Day, National Smiley Day. The post office right here in Worcester even designed a stamp in his honor. He gave a little speech and uh, here he is to rest. Unfortunately, uh, just a few short years later in 2001, he passed away and here's his grave. Um, looks like he's buried here with his lovely wife. And uh, there it is, the smiley face. Now this would be the back of Mr. Bull's grave. And I did notice another placard here on the ground. Looks like maybe possibly the original placard. And it says Harvey Bull, US Army, World War II. And uh, unfortunately can't read the dates. I think that's just his, uh, yeah, his birth date, July 10th. 1921 to April 12th, 2001. Well, thank you for making us smile, Mr. Bull, and have a nice day. Well, everybody, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this subject matter. I thought this was awesome when I found this, and uh, very, very cool and interesting. Um, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Also, share the video. Please don't spread the germs, but share the germ all over. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and if you can, scribble a little comment below. I like to see your comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Another time I was running along, somebody who had lost all his money in the t-shirt business, and he wanted to put my face on a t-shirt, but he couldn't draw that well, and he didn't have a camera. Here, use this one. Nobody likes that color anyway. Have a nice day. Well, some years later, I found out that that man did come up with an idea for a t-shirt. He made a lot of money off of it.